Hello everyone and welcome back to Vormi Plays MC Eternal. Today we are going to be getting into the Thomcraft stuff that we started on episode 13. Uh, but before that I've been mining quite a bit trying to get some of this Surtis crystal. Um, also I accidentally destroyed my old pickaxe uh, by throwing it into a Thomcraft crucible. Just misclicking, gotta be careful. Anyways, I've just been mining trying to level it back up and get some Surtis crystal to get my storage a little bigger. And uh, I found a little nice little little uh, deposit here some diamond and some surtis crystal anyways pretty nice so i'm just going to finish up mining and then we will get right into thomcraft so when i find diamond and when i find surtis quartz i use this rock cutter that has silk touch because this pickaxe does not have fortune or luck on it quite yet um, and I named it the Cobalt Knight because the handle is made out of night slime instead of iron like it was before. I figured we have this magnet. Oh no, do we have the magnet? Oh, yep, there it is. There's the magnet. And we don't really need the magnetic effect of the iron handle. So I replaced it with night slime. I also went ahead and upgraded the flux capacitor to hardened and the fluxo magnet to hardened just because that's cheap and really easy to do. So, just grab this stuff. Alright, back at the base here. As you can see, I have upgraded my machines to reinforced rather than hardened. I've also put a few augments on these two machines here. It just speeds up the processing. Both there. And then I put an augment on here that speeds up the charging. And that's all the changes I've made between episodes. Uh, now I'm just going to make some more of these storage cards, storage cells, so that I can keep more of this in here. And here we have two 16k ME storage cells. Throw those in our system, and bam, we've got quite a bit more storage. So I'm going to transfer some stuff over and we'll get into our Thomcraft stuff. Alright, now that that's taken care of, let's get into our Thomcraft stuff. So, last time we, we left off doing our alchemy here. We had just finished the first stage of the Essentia smelting. Now we are on the second stage. So, we are going to need to create all of these different Vs crystals. And luckily, I have a, a list of items here that will give us all those crystals. So, to create them, we are going to need some quartz. Oh, I actually think I, I have quartz slivers in the Thomcraft area already. Yep, here we go. We've got quartz sil slivers. And that's just made by putting quartz into a crafting table. And it gives you some slivers for that. Let's go back over here and get everything else we need. So the items we're going to need are going to be a bowl for vacuous, torches for lux, trapdoors for modus, snow for jellum, glass for vitreous, and then we have iron ingot which could give us metalum, or we have the copper ingot which would give us metalum and permutatio, which is what we're going to use. And then we've got the egg which would give us victus, but we also have the bone which gives us victus and mortis both, so we'll be using the bone for that one. And then we have coal for potentia. So let's go ahead and get into our system and just pull everything out that we're going to need. Just need one of each if we do this correctly. One coal, a bone. Let's see, we're going to skip the egg and the iron ingot and go to glass. There we go. Snow. Oh, we don't have any snow. Looks like I may have to go and find some real quick. Well, it doesn't look like I found any snow biomes quite yet, but I'm kind of hoping that right here and here are just little bits of snow, so I'm going to head over that way and check it out. All right, we're approaching our destination here, and it looks like it is snow. So that's good for us. Very nice. Let's go ahead and silk touch that, can we? Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh no, do we need a shovel? There we go. Sweet. Lots of snow. Oh, and it stacks up to 64th. That's very cool. All right, back to the base. 
Man, I must say, I am loving how this is looking right now. Looks so good. All right, back at the base here. Let's go ahead and deposit all the snow that we don't need. There we go. Next up, we need some trap door. We can just go ahead and craft that up real quick. One trap door. There we go. A torch. Perfect. And a bowl. Do we have? Yes, we do. All right, now let's take these all over to our Thawncraft area. Looking so nice. Except for the slimes. They're so annoying. Okay, and this gap here will be filled in by uh, barrier blocks, I believe they're called. It will stop the slimes from coming into our base here. So let's go over to our crucible. Maybe I made this place a little too big. Eh, who cares. Hey, I've got a hardened reservoir full of water here, so we can just continually fill this up. We'll fill it up there and wait for it to boil. And while we're waiting, I might as well just go take care of some of those slimes, huh? You will annoy me no longer, slimes! Ooh. Do I even want to kill that guy, though? He's so cool. Look at how cool he is. I'll kill his buddies, though. You live. You live, cool slime. All right, we've got our water boiling here, and we've got our cool dude out there. Okay, let's take our first item here, and we've got to be very careful with this uh, crucible. I accidentally destroyed my old pickaxe, and that's just not fun. That was not a good feeling. So, with this copper, we're going to be getting met metalum and permutatio. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing those correctly. So we just right click there, and then we right click with our quick s uh, our slivers there. There we go. And we're just going to keep doing that until it stops. Perfect. We got permutatio and metalum. Let's put our coal in there. And do the same thing. Perfect. We're running out of water there. Let's go ahead and shift right click to empty it out. And then we'll fill it back up with our reservoir. Perfect. Okay, let's throw our bone in there. Oh, that didn't work. Right click there, and just a bunch of right clicks again. Perfect. Okay, what do we got next? We have our glass. Throw that in there, and a bunch of right clicks again. Awesome. Vitreous. Let's throw our snow in, and we get one jellum, which is all we need. It's just fine. And oak door, trap door. There we go. Motus, let's go ahead and empty this out and fill it back up. There we go. And I like how it just stays bubbling. It's really nice. Now we need our torch. There we go. This is going to give us Lux, and I think... Oh, it did give one uh, of the, the beast one. I'm not sure what that one's called. Uh, but we need five of the element in order to capture it in the crystal. If that makes sense. Let's do our last one, our bowl. Does a bowl have five? Yes, it does. So, one there gives me one vacuous. Perfect. So that should be all the ones that we need to fulfill this, this stage here. Let's go ahead and open our Thaumonomicon. And there we go. Bunch of nice check marks. Let's hit complete. Perfect. I have managed to break down all my samples of primary and secondary essentia into a liquid state. The process has been slow and tedious, however. Until I simplify the process, it will never be a practical uh, it will never be practical for large scale usage. Luckily, extracting essentia from objects has a lot in common with smelting of metals. Using a furnace uh, as a base, I might be able to create an essentia smeltery that automatically melts down items and separates out individual types of essentia. So here we've got our Essentia Smeltery. We can click on it to see our recipe here. We need two brass plates. It looks like we can use Thaumcraft or Tech Reborn, which is nice because I believe I do have Tech Reborn brass, but I don't have Thaumcraft brass at the moment. We're going to need another Crucible. So we'll need to make a little more Salus Mundus dust. Uh, we'll need some Cobblestone and Furnace. And one Ignis Vis Crystal with a 50 Vis cost. So not too bad let's go ahead and get our brass and another cauldron head on over here i really can't wait until i get my 
um, wireless applied energistic setup. All right, looks like we have four brass ingots from Tech Reborn, perfect. And if we have our engineering's hammer, engineer's hammer, I believe we can just make these into plates like that. There we go, and these actually turn into Thomcraft plates, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need that for. And let's just hold on to the engineer's hammer just in case we need it. All right, was there anything else? Oh yeah, we need to make another cauldron. There we go. And then we're going to need to make some of that Salus Mundus dust. How did we make that again? To create Salus Mundus, take three Vise crystals of different types and combine them with redstone dust by crafting them with a flint and a bowl. Okay, perfect. We got all that. We got bowl. We got flint. All right. And then we get three of what we don't need. I don't need Ignis. I don't need Herba. And I don't think I really need... Hmm. I actually may need these other ones. I can just use one of these Potentia. And was it redstone? Redstone here. There we go. Get some Salus Mundus. We'll just throw down the cauldron here. And poof. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And we have our Crucible. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy back over to our Thomcraft base. All right. So we've got our plates. We've got our Crucible. And now we just need some cobblestone and a furnace. Here we go. Craft up a furnace there. Easy. Now we just take one of these Ignis Vise Crystals. Actually, you know what? Let's get a bunch of these. There we go. And put them back in here like we had it before. Perfect. What am I missing? Oh, right there. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and put these in here like this. Crucible on top there. Furnace there. And surrounded by cobblestone. Awesome. We have our Essentia Smeltery. We can go ahead and hit complete. And it looks like we've changed some things. I have drawn up the plans for an Essentia Smelter. The smelter works much like a normal furnace by burning coal to produce heat, but instead of smelting ore into metal, it breaks down objects into a slurry of raw, unprocessed Essentia. This process isn't very efficient, and a small amount of Essentia is converted into flux, roughly 20% of the time. The next step in the process is to take the Essentia slurry and distill it using an arcane alembic. To work, arcane alembics need to be placed on top of a smelter. Multiple alembics can be placed on top of each other to increase storage, but it does not influence processing speed. The Essentia slurry will slowly be drawn into the alembic and the individual aspect of Essentia is separated out. If the smelter is being powered by al alumentum, hmm, this distillation process is much faster. The Essentia can then be extracted out of an alembic using files, jars, or a more complex means. So these alembics are a little costly for what we have right now, at least. Uh, we're going to need some more brass plates. We're going to want at least four of these alembics, I believe. Um, so let's go ahead and start making some brass plates. If you remember, we just need to get some stone shovels to throw in here to create instrumentum. And then we throw some iron ingots on there. So I'll get that done. Okay, we've got eight brass ingots. And it looks like it's transforming them all into Tech Reborn. I thought it was transforming them to... Thomcraft, but I was backwards on that. So we've got that. We're going to need some plates here. How many are we going to need? Eight, I believe. There we go. And, oh, those ones did get changed to Thomcraft. It was very confusing. Okay, so let's go in here, and what do we need? We need Essentia filters, which means silverwood. Do we have silverwood here? We do not, but I know where a tree is, where we can get some. Here it is. Not too far from the base. Let's go ahead and just chop this guy down completely. Easy. A little slower while we're flying, but that's okay. There we go. Get as much as we can out of this. Oops. Didn't want all those leaves. Oh, well. And what do we have here? A shimmer leaf. Might as well take that as well. Never know what you'll need. So it looks like this shimmer leaf is just good for giving us some quick silver. Not too bad there. Let's take our quick, our, our, what is this? Our silver wood log. We're going to need these as planks. There we go. And we're also going to need some gold, I just realized. Okay, we got our silver wood planks, and I went ahead and grabbed some gold. 
We just need Aqua Vis Crystal and 15 Vis for this crap. Let's go ahead and throw our things in there. I don't know how many we're going to need. We'll go ahead and make a few. There we go. Got eight of them there. What else do we need? Let's take a look. We're going to need some great wood planks and buckets, which is great. I've got those. I just need some buckets. All right, I crafted up some buckets. Let's go ahead and craft these up. Let's see. That like that. And then we need our plates, right? Oop, what did I just do? Strange. Okay, there we go. And our buckets, perfect. Let's go ahead and get everything we need in there. There we go. And we've got, oh, two arcane Olympics. Look at this. We ran out of Vs there. So we're going to need to wait for it to recharge. No problem. It should just take a second. You can see how quickly that's recharging. And eventually we will get this amount of Vs available up. But for now, that's what we have. Let's take our four arcane Olympics and our Essentia Smeltery. And let's set it up. Where do we want to set this up? We're going to want an area that's big enough to have some jars around it. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? I think this is actually not too bad of a spot. Let's go ahead and just place this right here. Let's place our Alembics on top. There we go. And we can place our jars around there. That's plenty of space. Awesome. So here is the interface. We just put coal or any type of fuel item in there, and then our item that we want to take our Essentia out of. So, for instance, gold. If we were to put gold in there and some coal, we would get uh, roughly 10 metallum, 10 of whatever that hand thing is, and 5 of the sun thingy. I, I should really figure out what these are all called. Back in our Thaumonomicon here, we have Essentia tubes up next. But you see we have a star on our worded jars and labels. The star just means that there is additional information that has been written into the chapter. So we can actually turn our pages here and get more info on what the jars can do. And right here, we have our Essentia tubes. We need to get this one done so that we can get into our Thaumium Essentia smelter. And we want to upgrade to our Thaumium Essentia smelter as fast as we can. So, Essentia tubes. I can transport Essentia around in jars and flasks, but that is not useful for large-scale al alchemical operations. The obvious answer is to transport Essentia with pipes or tubes, but due to its volatile nature, no mundane pipe will be able to transport it. I should gather up some exotic Essentia samples and use them to test various materials. So we're going to need some Vitium, some Vinculum, some Alienus, and some Alchemia. So I've gone ahead and found the items that will give us what we need. The Enderpearl will give us the Alienus, the Amber will give us the... Vic, vic, uh, vic, tit, vic, uh, vic, vic, um, vinculum. The amber will give us vinculum, and the nether wart will give us both the al al alchemy and the uh, the vitium. Now, in order to get these essence as essences, essentias, whatever you want to call them, out of the items, we are going to need to burn them in here, which will gather the, es uh, the Essentia into the Alembics up there. And then the Alembics are somehow going to send the Essentia out of them and into jars. So we're going to need to make a lot of these warded jars, like quite a bit of them. So let me go ahead and make those. It's just a regular wood slab and some stained glass around it. I don't know why I said stained glass. It doesn't have to be stained glass. It's just going to be... Any glass panes is, is what I meant. Glass panes. Speaking of panes, get out of here, guys. All right, we've got our glass panes. Let's go ahead and put them in here. There we go. Make six of these jars. That's just fine for now. And let's set them up. Let's see, how much, how much space do I want to give this thing? I think I'll set them up like this. And let's see, one, two, one, two. Yeah. There we go. Three, four, five, six jars. Perfect. Now we need to get some way to get the Essentia out of the Alembics and into these jars. 
So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to need to finish this chapter first, and then it's going to give us a way to do that uh, with these advanced Essentia transports once we get over here. So I'm kind of thinking about it, and I don't think I actually needed those jars right this second. I mean, it's good to have, but what I do need is these files. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I need to make these files, and let's see. File, there we go. It's just made with three glass and one clay. So let's go ahead and grab that. What are you doing in here, guy? Well, I actually need what you dropped. So there we go. Uh, no, nothing. What? That's a shame because I really do need one of those before we can move on. But we don't need an end pearl to make files. So let's go ahead and make... Eh, let's make a good like stack of them. There we go. And we come over here to our nether base and we just... Get some of our nether wart that I knew we would need at some point. So I planted a bunch around here. Awesome. Good thinking, past for me. Okay, let's use this thing. Let's throw some of our nether wart in there. Not a whole lot. We just need, let's see. Uh, let's see, 10 will be good. There we go. And we'll throw in our coal. And you can see there it's working. And this is all the built-up Essentia that has yet to enter the Alembics. So without our thermometer, we're not going to be able to see anything. And I accidentally threw my thermometer into the crucible as well, so I'll have to make another one of those real quick. Luckily, I already have the material for that. Let's go ahead and put our glass pane there. Four gold. And we have our thermometer. So let's take this thermometer over here. And now we can, oh, we can research this stuff. Very nice. We like research. Okay. Awesome. So. Mm, I'm actually not seeing what I would like to be seeing. So if I'm remembering correctly, I think I will need these goggles here that are in this picture uh, to be able to see what is inside the Alemic. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about getting those. Let's click on Discovering Artifice, and it looks like I've already done what is needed here so let's hit complete and there we have the goggles of revealing we just need two thermometers two leather or sorry four leather and two brass ingots not too hard got everything we need here thermometers two brass ingots and four leather easy as that We've got our goggles of revealing which is a bauble we can put on on our head very nice makes us look real cool snazzy now let's come over here we can see now we can uh the essence inside of the alembics now this is the alchemia um the vitium and then we've got herba so with our files i believe we need 10 in the alembic to to get it so we're not going to be able to get this herba but we can get the vitium which is what we need and the alchemia which is also what we need awesome we actually got two of the alchemia I don't know if we need to, but we got it. So, awesome. Now, to get rid of things inside the Alembics, we just have to shift and right click, and it will release flux into the world. So, try to use as much of the Essentia inside the Alembics as you can before emptying it. Okay, next up is Amber, and that will give us Vinculum. Uh, amber will give us 10 Vinculum per Amber, so we have to account for that 20% loss. Let's go ahead and grab two of these, and then we will burn two like this. And it is eight or one coal for eight objects, just like in a regular furnace here. So you can see our Vinculum is building up, and it's at 10. That is all we need, and it stops at 12. So it's a good thing we got two of them there. And this one is vitreous. I don't think we need any vitreous files, but I'm going to take it out just because I don't want to release too much flux into the air here. Let's go ahead and empty those. There we go. Now I'm going to need an end pearl. I don't know how long that's going to take me to get, uh, but we'll come back when we get one. And thinking about it, I may actually need two because this only gives me 10 alienists. I have to account for that 20% loss. So I'll need two ender pearls. You know something I just don't use enough? The shop. I don't need to kill Endermen to get these pearls. I can just buy a couple of them. Why not? I mean, it's there. Use it. There we go. Two Ender Pearls. Let's speed this up. Just been sitting here waiting for it to get dark.
The basic Essentia Smelter is quite crude, if I have to be honest with myself. It is extremely inefficient and rather slow. I chalk this up to the low quality of the materials it is crafted from. I believe Thaumium could prove useful in improving the smelting process. I should run some experiments to see how effective it would be at containing Essentia Slurry. I should probably also improve the plumbing inside the smelter itself. So we're going to need a Thaumium plate, which is three Thaumium ingots. I wonder if we can actually make that with the engineer's hammer like we did the brass ones. Let's find out. Because I do have one Thaumium ingot on me at the moment. There we go. And our engineer's hammer. There we go. Thaumium plate. Awesome. I like that. Let's go ahead and just complete this. Perfect. Now we don't even have to really craft this right now. We can just move on. Oh, oh. Something's getting me. Get out of here, guy. We don't need you. We just don't need you here. If I can hit them. There we go. So next up, we have our Essentia Centrifuge, which is already complete. I often find myself with a complex Essentia I have no real need for. I need to find a way to put all that unused Essentia to a practical use. We'll complete it, and the chapter will change there. We're just going to skip reading that and go to the Alchemical Automation. We're going to complete this, because really our goal is just to get over to here. We need Infusion Research, which means we need to come over here and click on this here all right what do we need to complete this chapter we need stone we need feather and a file of air which is something that we can get now let's get some of that let's see we've got air i think we can just use feathers let's take a look feather and yep that gives us air awesome so let's go get some feathers all right, we've got 14 feathers, and this guy just completely blocking our way. Get out of here, guy blocking our way. Oh, for a second, I was like, is he even real? I don't know. You never know what's going on here. Ooh, ooh, enemy. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Hey, I'm a guy. Oh, uh, oh, can't let you hit me with that. Can't let you hit me with that. Sorry, bud. Too important. Can't be weakened. Come here. Come here. Oh, what's going on? It's date time, isn't it? Get out of here, guy. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Fly, fly away. Did we get an ender pearl? No, but we got an infinity booster card. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, let's toss a couple feathers in here. We're going to need at least three, I believe. There we go. That's alienus. Oh, let's go ahead and empty that then. Now that's air. We got modus and the feather one. But we need the air. Here we go, grab that, and Motus. Well, I kind of want to leave that in until we can put it in a jar, honestly. But now we have our file of Air Essentia. Let's see, do I have stone in here, just plain old stone? No, I don't believe I do. Let's go ahead and grab some. Okay, now we have our plain stone, our feather, and a file of Air Essentia. Let's go ahead and complete this. And we have Infusion. So, we need to craft the runic matrix to complete this. We're going to need four arcane stone bricks, which are made with arcane stone, which is made with regular stone around a vis crystal. Which is easy, we just need to grab some more stone, because I only grabbed one. Man, I think maybe next episode I'll take a little bit, oh, a little bit of time at the beginning there to make this, uh, this uh, storage system wireless, because Getting a little tired of going back and forth, not gonna lie. So, let's grab some Vs Crystals here that we're going to need. We're just going to take some of what we have. There we go. Some Ordo. And let's surround that. We'll make as many of these as we can. No problem. Okay. Now let's go ahead and turn these into bricks. Some of these. And there we go. And now need what do we need we just need green night ore yes yeah, yeah no it's changing colors on we just need night ore and if you remember night ore is created oh, with 10 ignis 10 lux 10 potentia and one glowstone dust so let's get that done okay the coal is going to give us our ignis and potentia and then our torch will give us our lux to 
magnet makes it a little hard to just drop things. There we go. Get two of these. And I like that we can see what we have in there now. There we go. Fantastic. And let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Fill it back up. There we go. We have our yellow night ore. I made two just in case. Let's go ahead and put one in there. There we have our bricks. Awesome. There we have our runic matrix. That is going to complete this part of the infusion chapter. Perfect. Oh, going to open up a bunch of cool, cool stuff there. All right, let's go back to our alchemy. And then we have our advanced Essentia transports. Let's hit complete. It says, I have cracked the method of keeping aerated Essentia stable outside of infusion. I have drawn up plans for two devices. The filling Essentia transfuser can take Essentia directly from a pipe network or other Essentia source and transport it two jars within 16 blocks of the direction it is facing. The emptying Essentia transfuser does the opposite, drawing Essentia from jars within range and placing it within tubes or devices requiring Essentia of a specific type. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't gotten super uh, technical with this kind of stuff. What I do is I just grab our filling Essentias. I grab four of those and I place them on our Alembics here. And that will automatically pull out the Essentia and put it in its uh, specific jar. Um, right now they're all empty, so it's just going to put it in jars willy-nilly. But say there's air in this jar, and there's air in here. So this is going to see that there's air in this jar, and it's going to place this air into that jar. Same with modus. If this jar has modus, then the modus will go to this jar. Um, until that jar is full, in which case it will find the nearest empty jar. And we can also change that with labels. We can place a label on a jar and it will basically lock that Essentia in for that jar. Say, say air. We put an air label on an empty jar and only air will be able to get in there. Now, what do we need to craft these? Well, the main thing we're going to need is a alchemical construct. This is made with a series of tubes and valves and plates. So let's go ahead and craft up what we need. So we're going to need a bunch of Essentia tubes. We'll need Quicksilver drops, iron plates, glass, and a brass nugget. Okay, I believe we have everything we need here. So we're going to need our alchemical constructs. We're going to need two of those. So let's make our Essentia tubes. We're going to need brass nuggets, no problem. We've got those. Here we go. Tubes. Perfect. I don't know how many we're going to need. Let's go ahead and make 16. There we go. And our valves. We need four of those. And we need our great wood planks, which we have right here. There we go. Throw those all in there. And we have four alchemical constructs once our vise is available. There we go. Okay, four alchemical constructs. We're going to need uh, brass plates, iron plates. I believe we have everything. Dispenser. Awesome. We just need to make some more plates. Two, three, four. I don't know why it's making different plates. It's kind of strange, but it's okay. And we're going to need some brass plates as well. So let's make four of those. All right, we have everything we need. We should be able to make four of these. Right, we need some more plates. That's okay. No problem at all. We're going to be waiting for Vs to recharge anyways. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Go ahead and put more of them up there. Awesome. Now we just need to wait for the Vs to replenish. And here's the last one here. And it looks like the more Vs we use in a chunk, the slower it uh, replenishes itself. So there we go. We've got four of our filling Essentia transfers, transfusers, excuse me. Now we're going to put one here. 
Oh, shift right click, there we go. And you can see the Essentia going over to the jar. It's very neat. I'm going to place that on all of those and you can see the really neat animations. You can see we have the feather one, I forget what that's called. We have air and we have motus. Now we're going to have a bunch of jars with a bunch of different Essentias all surrounding this machine eventually. All right, everyone, this is where I'm going to wrap up the episode. We got our Essentia smeltery smelting and, you know, working completely. Got our wireless uh, transfusers put on those Alembics there, which is really awesome. This is a great start to what we are going to do. So right in this book, next episode, we are going to be getting some of these darker ones done here. And we're going to be getting more into the ones that I kind of just skimmed over trying to get over to this transport one. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in that next one.